Okay, so this has to be the strangest thing ever to come with an action figure. And of course, of course, it's Todd McFarlane over at McFarlane Toys to deliver it to us. I, I could not tell for the life of me what this was in packaging. I don't know if anyone has a review, reviewed it yet. So that's why I am doing this for the people. This weird thing has cards with like Joker uh, graffiti and style drawing on it. Ha ha ha. Put a little bomby gift box on there. A dead Batman. Oddly, no Joker card. Whatever. Here's the queen with like a Joker face. Here's the king. Really cool looking cards, but they're human size. They're not tiny cards. And you can individually take whatever you want you want and slide it into this as a display. You know, admittedly, it's not the dumbest thing I've ever seen. It's kind of cool. And I'm, I'm going to obviously show you the figure it came with. Um, this is the dark... Why am I screaming? Why am I screaming when I can come close? It's the dark detective Batman, but like Joker eyes. And from what I gather, this is just a McFarlane... Um, idea. They had this buck that probably didn't sell that well. And there's a lot of tooling here. I've seen people turn this guy into Gambit, which looks fantastic. And I, I think he didn't want to waste that jacket and tooling. Um, it's a good figure. It's very stylized with the way the coat is being like windswept. I have a mine on the bike. A lot of nice detail in the boots. They're like, the green is like dry brushed on. The head sculpt um, has a nice Joker smile, like the Jokerized Superman. Um, what is very unique, which I don't think is going to happen again, is instead of getting a basic black stand that has uh, DC on it, which of course there's none near me right now to grab, we get a very unique stand to the figure. I mean, imagine if every figure had that, how awesome that would be, like a Wonder Woman sign, a Superman sign, you know, et cetera, et cetera. Um, the card has a picture that is not this figure, which is always odd. Let me see if you could do this. I mean, why wouldn't you be able to do it? You know what? Of course, it's giving me, let me take this off camera. I don't want to totally, if you ruin the card, what's the point? Why did that... This is very bizarre. Oh, because of the rounded edges. All right, I guess I have something that I could show you the card the figure comes with. A more professional look. So that's cool. This is a very weird accessory. As the cars rumble by, I don't like closing the garage. I like letting the air in because I, I, in case I fart or something. But that's it. This is a gold label. This is only at Target right now, I believe. Um... It's unique. I think only f if, if only you wanted to get this just for the stand, at, le at least you'd be getting something unique and different, but really only if you collect, you know, DC Multiverse, which if you're not, why are you not? Um, there's still the cheapest toy line, the biggest toy line besides, you know, NECA figures are seven inches well. That's just my opinion. Take care, have fun. See you on the next one.